This is my review of the DC Gaveler. I have it right here. I got one of these and then I liked them so much, I bought a whole new pair. These shoes have been through a lot. I have skated these enough to where I can give my opinion and it's worth something because I've, I've been through some stuff with these. I know a lot about them now. First of all, I got them on sale, but even if they weren't on sale, I wouldn't be disappointed with the quality of these because usually a skate shoe will last me like a month-ish, usually a little bit less. But these lasted me like three months, like the whole, pretty much all of summer. And I skate more in the summer than I do any other time of the, of the year really because I have more time to skate. So I put these through a lot more than I would a regular shoe. Um, there are some things I don't like about them and I will get to those. But starting with the things I do like, the durability of these shoes, they, they, just, they just last forever. Honestly, I could still skate these if I really wanted to but it's gotten to the point to where like the bottoms are just blowing out. They've lasted long enough for me to be okay with throwing them out and starting a new pair. Um, the material, I believe it's super suede. It is definitely holding up. It could just be the fact that they're bulkier shoes so they last longer than not bulky shoes, but either way, I'm getting more of these. One thing I definitely don't like about it though is where the shoelaces are. You know, um, it's pretty regular for where the shoelaces are. It's not like weird or anything. It's just if you're skateboarding, they're going to rip every single time you go skate. And that's a lot of money on shoelaces that you're going to be spending because you can't just not have shoelaces. So I found myself going through more shoelaces than usual with these. And so the shoelaces, not in the best position to save money on shoelaces, but the shoe lasted so long that it kind of makes up for it. And then the insoles, I would definitely recommend getting some new insoles. At first, the insoles are fine and they feel really good. But after like two weeks, you're going to want to get some new insoles because it just, it's not it's not the best but a lot of skaters I know just have insoles they swap from shoe to shoe just you know that's just what they do already so that's not really that big of a complaint I, I don't do that but I know people who do another thing I love about the shoes is that a lot of shoes that are you know suede or whatever um, they're suede up here but then once you get down to here it's all canvas and then you know you can't do that many heel flips but it's suede pretty much all the way through or it's literally swayed all the way through except for the shoelaces. Um, so, you know, no matter where you're flicking, like if you're doing a heel flip tight trick, even if you're like all the way back here for some reason, it's still gonna last as long as if it was the kick flip area because it's all of it is the same material. What I could have done was get some shoe goo and actually like covered up where it was wearing out before it worn out and these shoes probably would have lasted longer, except for the fact that the bottom started blowing out. So they lasted so long that they outlasted the bottom of the shoes, which doesn't usually have that much wear. For me anyways, I usually rip through the shoe before the bottom starts wearing out, but I don't think there's anything you can do to make the bottom last longer. It looks like it's blown out, but I, I've been skating it while it looked like this and I still had almost no issues. The flick just sort of changed a little bit. I just adjusted for that and the shoe still kept my foot safe and everything. I just have to deal with people making fun of me for my shoe having a hole in it. They're usually around 60 bucks per pair. And for lasting three months, that's pretty good considering I'd spend like 30 bucks, almost 40 bucks per pair that lasted one month at a time. It's like 20 bucks a month for these when they're not on sale and they are still on sale if you want to buy some. Hopefully whenever this video uploads, they'll still be on sale for you. But if not, then it's still a good price. I would have paid 60 bucks for these and been happy with it. But DC has a lot of sales on shoes that are actually good. So I'm not complaining. Um, I'll probably have a clip, few clips after this and then you can, uh, you can watch the next video that's either going to be up here or up here. Um, they're both, there's going to be two videos, one on each side. Both of them are amazing, so pick your favorite one and then go watch it. And I'll see you later.